log surfing. guys so today I'm gonna show you how the log arch trailer works uh, basically what I'm gonna want to do is actually move this right here bring the log arch up a little bit more so we have a higher uh, point of pull to uh, get these logs up the hill that way we're not pulling them into the dirt uh, but rather trying to lift it the the nose end of them up in the air a little bit which at this this grade right here probably won't really be picking them up but we just we want to have the highest point of pull that we can get and make things easier on the winch so what i need to do is actually move this pin and put it into this hole right here it'll you guys will see so we'll have the cameraman here pack up a little bit and kind of show the whole operation right here so i've already got the winch line pulled in a little bit to where it's taken the weight off of this pin right here so now i can pull this pin out and i'll go over to the other side pull that one then I'll use the winch to move this log arch into the position that I want it in to put these pins in. All right. Hope you guys understand that. I know I've had a lot of people uh, comment and say, you know, they, they wanted me to do a video on the log arch trailer, how it works and everything. In this position right here, where it's leaning uh, back a bit, this is where I uh, use it to pick up logs, move them around the yard, kind of like a, a forklift or crane or whatever and i actually use this to set the logs on my sawmill bed uh, it was the probably the cheapest most budget friendly uh, option that i could think of you know it's a it's a log hauler it picks up logs and it puts them on my trailer nice and safe so we're just going to show you how it works here we go pull that pin out right there and the way I made this right here is actually a piece of this tubing right here with the end of it uh, cut out and turned and welded onto the end to make these two ears right here. That's all that is. Now let me go to the other side. the loading position uh, where the, the arch is up a little bit higher and I can actually pull a log up to the back end of the trailer and depending on how far I hook the chain or the, the log tongs onto the nose of that log if I go back about 18 inches or so and hook onto it there there's enough of that log sticking out that the angle is just right 
uh, to where when I pick it up, as long as it's not down a hill like this, it may not work very good. On a hill like this, it's gonna be trying to, you know, stay back. So usually what happens is I winch it up and I'll get the nose of that log actually up here on the back end of the trailer and I can actually take the, the, uh, the cable out of the snatch block up here and do a, a straight line pull and then just pull the log right onto the back end of the trailer, get her loaded up fairly easily. And then hopefully, I'm really hoping that I'll have enough tongue weight on this to actually get up this hill I don't know I probably put it in there where you guys seen me pulling out trying to reposition the trailer here uh, I don't have there is a lot of rock here but when you have this green grass show them the green grass yeah <laughs> we're in winter right now and we still have green grass right now that stuff is crazy slick and that's really the reason I haven't been logging anything because I'll wait till winter time uh, when all the leaves are off the tree and everything and the the sap stops flowing uh, so much in these trees that's a good time to cut them uh so yeah that's what i've been waiting on i've been waiting for the grass to dry out uh and die out so we can actually get up and down the hill so i don't know how this is going to work out but the cameraman here we might have to use his dodge pickup today to pull me out of here <laughs> it's going to be interesting so uh anyways let's get after it i gotta get the uh the chainsaw out and i gotta cut some sections out of this i, I got to get two 12 footers and i believe a 10 footer we got 34 feet of log uh that we're going to be trying to pull out of the woods today and so i think i can get like two 12 footers and a 10 footer i think that's what that comes out to uh the, the 10 footer is actually going to be a little bit shorter because it's going to be the 12 footers are going to be 12 foot six you have to cut them a little bit longer to make sure you get that full 12 foot and you always got to allow a few inches on each end for checking and stuff so anyways we'll be right back <laughs>
right guys so i ended up going a little further than the 34 feet uh in order to get another 12 footer instead of a 10 footer out of it so we got about 12 foot six right here look at this beautiful white oak right here that's some nice stuff right there guys some real nice stuff uh so hopefully we only have a bad spot down there in the end where that hollow spot is hopefully it doesn't go very far in there uh right here's a good one that's real nice probably i want to say 18 inch across or diameter and this was a 12 footer then this one right here is a 12 footer the only thing is we got a, a crotch coming off of it right here i'll probably come in here and take this uh this uh, little knot or limb, whatever, off of here. And I think we can get some uh, 12 foot uh, post out of that. And then this one right here, I wanna say it's like uh, eight, seven or eight foot right there on that one. I can't remember what it was. Let me measure it again real quick. So this is what's nice about the loggers tape is this little horseshoe nail right here that's bent over sideways. You just stick that into the wood like that and then you can walk to the other end and let's see we've got seven foot six and a half all right and i left the crotch in this right here because it's very likely this one right here could become like a countertop or a coffee table we can just slab some uh, slabs out of this and have that crotch figure in it uh usually a logger will cut that off uh they don't want nothing to do with that because they're worried about making lumber instead of you know like countertops and those really kind of special pieces and that's what i really uh specialize in is making those special cuts like that with the crotch figure and everything in it uh i mill for uh what do you call it like the i don't even know what you call it <laughs> i can't think of the word right now uh but for the for the wood grain is what i mill for to kind of get the most value out of it uh those special cuts you know so anyways this right here those right there is going to be hopefully most of the order uh, that i got to do i've got a whole bunch of beams and stuff i got to make for this guy uh, i think it's like four post and eight uh 12 foot beams and then two uh 18 foot beams that i already actually have milled so yeah uh luckily i didn't have to cut this into an 18 footer because that would be pretty hard to winch it up the hill uh, we got all of the cable pulled out from the winch and it only came to right here so we're going to be using some chain that brandon's got there let's go brandon there's one there but i have a oh you, not long you got one down here where is it right there. Like right there. Oh, i can't see it i'm blind as a bat i guess oh there it is right there <laughs> you got it underneath the log all right um yeah we'll use that one uh take that chain you got with you right there and just toss it right over here to the side because uh, we're gonna have to use it probably on the next one but all right let me go grab the tripod get you guys set up and we're gonna start winching these up the hill all right there's gonna be a lot of winching to do
we're gonna need that uh, camp hook. It's up there on the sawmill. You know one of these is gonna roll right over on the chain, kind of like this right here did. double line pull on this so we can get more pulling power out of the winch and get this log on here it's just having a hard time getting that knot up over the edge of the trailer so little trick right here is grab another snatch block like this get it hooked in we'll put this right here on the log run the cable through and then take the hook back up here to a clevis i got up here get that hooked up and start pulling it on so here we go get some slack out of the cable here not, not get slack out of it we got to get some more slack <laughs> Basically, it's just two halves. It slips like this. Do like that right there. You got your clevis right here. You want to have your threaded side towards the log. Put that on, okay? Actually, I did that backwards, didn't I? All right, do it like that. Put this through here. Take the end of it, the hook. We'll go up here to the front of the trailer and hook this on the clevis up there. keeps shutting off on me. I don't know what the deal is with that.
all right guys so we got this one up here finally and as you've seen we got those other ones over there i hope it's not too dark out yet for this gopro they don't do real well in in low light but uh anyways this right here that's a good size log right there that is i think it's about 12 foot six maybe 13 foot long or so and it's probably it's close to 24 inch diameter on the small end it's pretty darn big it's 27 or 28 right here on pretty close to the end of it right there uh yeah that's a that's a big heavy log as you guys can see that 12,000 pound winch was struggling uh to pull that with a single line pull the old uh the log arch trailer and that winch right there it had a workout today but anyways i want to end or close out this video with uh one little thing here all right you guys see all this these blocks of wood right here i've had them sitting here for a couple of years they're nice and dry they make really good firewood and i was using those the reason i even bought them i bought them from the uh, sawmill down here several years ago uh, i have a video uh, out there where i was went to the uh the local mill and was picking up or loading off cuts and using that in my woodworking using it on the lathe and everything but you know since i got a sawmill you guys can see i've got an overabundance of wood here right and so what i'm gonna do is i know someone who could really use that for firewood so i'm gonna load that up and i'm gonna start processing some of this wood over here for kindling and i'm gonna take that to this family who could definitely use it and i'm gonna bless them with that and guys so i want to leave you with this today I'll, i'm not doing this to you know pat myself on the back or nothing like that um i'm just you know i want to show you guys that i am doing something for somebody i mean it's not really costing me anything to uh cut this up right here turn it into some firewood and load up that right there and take it about a mile down here from my house because i this family bought some firewood from me uh last season when we had that really cold snap come through and in in delivering that firewood to them i seen that you know they are low income and you, they need some help all right and they're a family okay and uh i just i want to help them out okay it feels great whenever you can give to somebody no matter what it is it, it might just be uh you know a couple bucks or something if you can help someone out at, at the register or something like that uh you see someone who's struggling and maybe they're sitting there counting through their change or something like that to uh you know pay for their purchase at the register and you know if you could come up and pick up the tab for them that would be super awesome and uh just pay it forward guys that's all i'm asking is pay it forward one time and if we all do this this world can be such a, a much better place guys so that's what i want to leave you with do something i don't care if it's if you got some firewood or something or whatever like whatever you see fit that you know if you could help someone out just do it all right just do it and i want to thank you guys so much for watching the video We'll see you next time. Bye.